Well, back at it this morning. I'm gonna jump in the excavator and take on off down the trail that I cleared yesterday and finish getting the brush and laying it into the path so that I can push it down here and bring it to that fire pile. Then I'll uh, jump on the dozer and push all that down here, clean up and grade all that, then start working on these uh, two piles out here in the field, getting those transferred over and spread out over here. That is the plan for today. I'm gonna grab some of this brush now that I've laid against the edges and lay it over here in piles where the dozer can push, but leave enough where I can get the dozer down beside it to go around each pile. And I will push this down there to the burn pile. Yeah. A little bit more than I wanted in one pile. See if I can get that organized a little bit better. When the stuff's just all crisscross going over everywhere, it's kind of hard to push. to get it where there's no big stumps ready to fall over. Get hung on the blade.
this. There's so much stuff right there. I made my way to the end here I didn't realize there was still this much brush up here I've got quite the uh, rows of uh, brush here but I think I can sweep by them here with the dozer and take them and push them all down there and get them all stacked up and get this path shaped up so I'm going to walk down here and get the dozer now at least it's dry up here not uh, muddy as it is down here. Everything from like here up is really nice. Once you start getting down here, it starts getting a little bit, a little bit wet and you start getting all that undergrowth and it's just a royal pain to clear that stuff. But this should be all of the clearing here. Just gotta get it cleaned up and leveled out. At least when you're pushing the brush, it kind of acts as a, like a, a big broom and kind of sweeps the ground. And, levels it out as I go so kind of kills two birds with one stone
got to save the turtles. Sorry, little buddy. Let's put you over here out of uh, harm's way. There you go. So now I'm working on just getting all these roots and everything kind of bladed up and spread out and pushing it all down there. This stuff is aggravating as crap to try to grade out. Even the root rake doesn't really do much with this stuff. You just got to sit here and just kind of keep spreading it out, tracking it in. Making progress though. Finally, everything is pushed down there to the burn pile now. This stuff's just got so much undergrowth in it that the root mat is just horrible. It takes forever to clean this stuff up. And it still don't look the greatest in the world, but it'll rain on a time or two, the grass will grow up, bush hog it. And uh, next time I come back down here to probably do the pond over there, I can touch it up again once it rains on it and settles out a little bit. But I'm gonna go up here and get the excavator, come down here, stack up the burn pile, and then go over there and start transferring that pile of uh, dirt and roots back over here.
of February where you have to get the air conditioning on because it's so warm outside. It's not that hot. It's probably in the 70, 70 or so, but uh, just got tired of all that dust blowing on me. That old ash pile right here as I was moving it. There's still some pockets that were pretty dusty. You kind of see that right there and the wind's blowing pretty good today. So I'm just kind of transferring it back. I've been working on this for about an hour and I've moved it probably 100 feet. So making pretty good progress. Just got to get it over there to the tall grass and I'll just take the dozer and spread it all up in there. So I haven't been cutting it all the way down to the ground. That way I can come in here with the dozer and maybe spread some of it out. At least a little bit of it over here. Every little bit that I can waste is that much less that I have to move, you know. So I kind of wish I had the dump truck here, but didn't really justify bringing it down here. What it costs to move it all the way down here and back to use it for, you know, three or four hours. I could just spend, you know, six hours and fail it all. And I don't know if the ground would hold it up it's wet over there like it looks dry but it's not i feel like i'd spend another half a day fixing all the ruts from it so. i don't know i think this will work it's gonna have to let's take a little bit of time it's not the 550 but eventually this is going to be a pond right here where these ditches here combine we're going to just dig a hole out right here and uh, take all that dirt and just shove it over there and kind of raise that up. So that's why I'm just taking all this junky stuff over there, spreading it out because it'll end up getting covered up with all the dirt from the pond whenever we decide to do that. been almost piled up for a year now. Pretty much the only thing that rotted down was I guess the pine straw and the grass. All the sticks and roots still look the same if you ask me. But all the majority of the ashes have calmed down, got some moisture in them now, so it's not near as dusty as it would have been. But I left the pile right there because the original plan was when I come back last time, for this time, was to finish clearing more over there and all the brush I was gonna have the truck down here but that changed so we just kind of made it where it wasn't practical to bring the dump truck down here I want to get this on the other side of the ditch that way I can get that uh, open back up today. And then depending on how much time I have, I may run the, run over some of that with a dozer and blade it off a little bit. I think this is gonna take the majority of the time to get that over the uh, creek or the ditch so that it's not plugged up tonight. I don't want to block a lot of water and dam it up. So I'll just keep on transferring dirt back. Now then you get a pile of roots and junk and it won't dig too well.
All right, last day here. I already got the uh, phone call in to get these two machines moved out of here tomorrow to the next project. So today's goal is to finish moving all that ash and topsoil over here, get it spread out, grade that area out. I'll probably go ahead and grade that area out over there and then push everything. Um, I can't spread out all those roots and uh, logs and stuff that way. Uh, I probably need to lay that back again with the excavator to break it up a little bit more go up there and work on that other pile get that filled in between here and there and uh kind of blade over all this and make it look nice then i got to start uh cleaning tracks off oh joy
So all that is finally bladed off. That took uh, pretty much an entire day to transfer that over and blade all that over. So uh, what I did, I just took it and brought it all over right here. It's pretty low in here. So I just started to lift right in there and just started pushing it over everything. And if we do decide to do the pond, which is like I said, going to go right there, all that dirt is just going to start like right here. And we'll just continue another two, three foot tall lift over top of all this right here and get this raised up because it's just it's just a low wet area and i can't get it to drain anywhere so the uh, best thing to do is just take that dirt it'll be easy just put it in the truck back it right over here run a row all the way down we'll just keep shoving it over all the way to the wood line fill all that in and uh, that'll be a good place to get rid of all that dirt and make this usable so i got a couple trails to go blade off over there with the dozer and a little bit more to do up there and then i'm pretty much done here for now tracks are all shoveled already cleaned the dozer up took it over there time to walk this over there and get it ready to head out of here tomorrow the uh this and the dozers heading off to a two acre clearing job some uh for a house lot and the other 220 is heading off to a, another clearing job a little small clearing job but uh, need a big machine big trees not many trees just big trees so i'm gonna walk this over here where it can get loaded out everything's shaped up pretty nice out here it's really hard to believe where this place came from. You know, two years ago, when I first started, they've been doing donuts right here with a four-wheeler. That's why that's holding water. But literally everything from that brush pile all the way to that group of pine trees, all the way up to those trees was completely submerged in like 12 inches of water. Just by clearing it, grading it, and getting a defined ditch in here has actually made this land that was unusable all usable now so it's been a many hours out here but it has came a long way since day one when i first started i dug the ditch from here to up there got it to drain cleared all that up there for the house lot there's like another two and a half acres up there that i've cleared uh, to start with and then came down here cleared this and then cleared that cleared all the trees down the ditch right here so done a lot of work out here and it really shows it now so hopefully one more time down here do the little pond take all that dirt waste it over there and burn those piles they should dry down dry out plenty good by then burn right on down so that's a wrap for this project and We'll get started on another one tomorrow.